Hey, I'm Colin from fruitsofspirit.com, and we've got a story for you today. Today's story is called The Parable of the Unforgiving Servant. Jesus was asked a question by one of his disciples named Peter, and Peter asked, How often must I forgive my brother? Jesus answered this question with a story. He said, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who had many servants. And one day he called all of his servants together to pay back what they owed to him. One of these servants owed him 10,000 talents. You know, 10,000 talents adds up to about 200,000 years of work. That means someone would have to work every single day for 200,000 years. That's a crazy amount of money and there's no way that anyone could ever pay this back. So the king looked at the servant and he said that him and his family must be sold until the payment is made. The servant begged him to have patience and give him more time so that he could pay back what was owed. You know, the king had pity on this servant. And instead of giving him more time, he decided to completely forgive him and say that he wouldn't have to make any of the payment. So this servant walked away happy and joyful. But shortly after that, the servant found a man who owed him a hundred denarii, about a hundred days worth of money. And he demanded that man pay him back. The man begged him and said, give me more time, have patience with me. But this servant that was forgiven so much refused and said that this man would need to be thrown into jail until he paid back everything that was owed to him. Please do stick around to the end of this video to find out how to receive a free coloring page of the illustration that you're seeing in this video. Also, if you've been enjoying yourself up to this point, please do consider liking this video as well as subscribing to our channel for more content like this. So the king heard about this and he called back in the servant who he had forgiven. And he said, how could you do this to your fellow servant? I forgave you so much why couldn't you have done the same? Now because of what you've done, you'll be thrown into jail until you pay back every last penny. You know, God is like the king in this story, and we are like the servant. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned. We've all done bad things in our lives. We've told lies. We've taken things that aren't ours. We've been angry at people and wanted bad things to happen to them. And God says that there's no way that we could ever pay back the debt that we owe because of those bad things that we've done. But God didn't want to allow us to be thrown away from his presence. He wanted us to be with him, so he decided to send Jesus. And Jesus died for us and took our place. And it tells us that because of Jesus, God can forgive us of our sins, the debt that we would have never been able to pay. So Jesus is saying that since we are people that have been forgiven so much, we need to forgive others in the same way. When Jesus talks about forgiveness, he's not talking about something that we earn or deserve. So Jesus says just like he's forgiven us, he wants us to forgive others. He wants us to give this free gift of forgiveness even when it's not deserved. And that's hard. It's very hard. But God isn't asking us to do something he hasn't already done for us. You know, for Jesus to forgive us, it was such a hard thing. He had to die a terrible death and be hung on a cross that was super, super painful. But he did that for each of us so that our sins could be completely forgiven. We have such an amazing God, don't we? Thank you all so much for sticking around with us to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed the parable of the unforgiving servant. As promised, we have a free coloring page available on our website, fruitsofspirit.com. You can find a link in the description below. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to our channel as well as liking this video for more content like this.